Not so long ago, we published a video covering our five best free project management tools. ClickUp was one of them. Many of you asked me to go a little deeper into the platform. So, well, as someone that never likes to disappoint, I'm sharing my full ClickUp review here with you today. Now imagine trying to wrangle a remote team of 80 plus people without a solid management tool. It's chaos, right? You get nothing done really, and there's no accountability. For over a decade, our team has tried just about every option out there. So we know what it takes to be worthy of our recommendation. In the next few minutes, we're going to break down everything ClickUp has to offer. We will discover ClickUp's features, the user interface, productivity, and of course, pricing plans. So if you're new to this and still don't know if ClickUp would work for you, this video is for you. So grab a coffee, get comfy, and let's get started. Let's kick things off with ClickUp's features. And let me tell you, even the free plan is loaded. I mean, my team and I have been using it every day for almost a year now, and it's, well, it's stacked with features, which is probably why big players like Netflix and Spotify are on board too. I left the link in the description box below so you can sign up for your free account if you think that ClickUp might be worth a try. So, task management. It's the bread and butter of any project tool. ClickUp nails the basic. You can create tasks, assign them, track them, set due dates, all that good stuff. You can add start dates too, by the way, and prioritize tasks in their order of urgency. You can also track time within a task and log accurate time sheets. Let's talk about relationships. No, I, I'm, not, I'm not referring to your dating life. I'm not gonna go there, right? <laughs> I'm talking about links to items that are related to a task. You've got options like embedding external URLs to your task cards. This could be, for example, to a Google Doc or Sheet. You can link to other tasks in ClickUp too and even set dependencies. To help give more context to tasks, you can write in the description box, upload attachments and create checklists. I love taking things off in the checklist. It gives me a little dopamine hit each time that I do and it really helps my team to be on track as well and I can make sure all the boxes are checked for an individual task, which is great. I mean, pilots use checklists, checklists all the time, and it's really crucial that things get done properly. ClickUp doesn't just show you your tasks in one way. You've got your Kanban board view. You have the classic list view, but there's also a timeline, a table, and a calendar. You can switch between these views whenever you want, and really it just comes down to your preference. I use a lot the Kanban view and the table view because it gives me a bird's eye view of anything that's going on. Say you're planning a product launch. The timeline lets you see the whole project laid out over time and then when you need to zoom in to your day-to-day -day tasks, you can flip over to the Kanban board and can move tasks along into the different lanes. Now let's talk about ClickUp Brain for a second and that's right, ClickUp has its own brain, otherwise known as artificial intelligence. For seven bucks month you get unlimited AI help which is cheaper than other popular tools like ChatGPT and I've tried it out and it's well it's not bad. It can answer questions about your tasks like how likely you are to meet your deadline. It can also help you with a bunch of copy like brainstorming ideas or writing blog posts and you'll need to do some editing but as a starting block to to get things started and to get get a good kickoff it's it's okay. And we all need to expand our workflow from time to time and use other apps as well. And good thing about ClickUp is it doesn't lock you into its system. In fact, it has over 1,000 third-party integrations available. By default, you get access to 50, but if you use ClickUp's API, then you open the door to a whole lot more. All the big players are available. Google Drive, Slack, GitHub, for example. Say you're knee-deep in a Slack conversation. You can create and manage a ClickUp task 
tasks right in there. Or maybe you want to share a file from Google Drive. You can manage and attach files to your ClickUp tasks without leaving the platform. Pretty handy, right? Oh, and for your developers out there, you can create GitHub branches and pull requests straight from ClickUp. You can also convert Outlook or Gmail emails into ClickUp tasks with a few clicks. I found that to be a real time saver because I don't have to jump through different apps to create the tasks. It's all good having plenty of features, but they need to work. Which brings me to the next segment of this review, usability. Let's talk about ClickUp's user interface. I'll be honest, when you first open it, it might seem like a lot, especially if you have a lot of tasks and a lot of data in there. But stick with me, it's not as complicated as it looks. When you first First open ClickUp, you'll see there's a search bar in the middle at the top. You can use this to quickly find tasks, users and other project management related features. And just to the right of that is the quick actions menu. If you click the new button, you can add tasks, docs, reminders, chat and whiteboard. I use it all the time for quick task creation. And if we switch over to the left hand menu, that's basically your navigation hub. You've got your inbox, docs, dashboards, timesheets, spaces and the home button. In home, you get a quick view of your dashboard. It's going to show your recent tasks, what's on your agenda and a list of your most important tasks. By the way, you can customize this and get it to show you the data that matters the most to you. You just need to tap manage and it will show you all your available options right in there. On daily use, I actually enjoy using ClickUp. Once you get a hang of how to navigate it, it really becomes a solid tool to manage work. And by the way, ClickUp has a ton of educational resources to help master the platform. If I've ever get stuck, I could easily jump into the knowledge base and almost always find an answer to my problem. And as for workflow, I do most of my work in the board view. It's a nice and simple Kanban board. And yeah, well, as you can see, it runs smoothly for the most part. Sometimes it doesn't move cards along on the first attempt, but that doesn't happen really often and you just have to refresh it and try again. I won't go through all the views because they're like a pretty standard, like the list and the calendar view and uh, the timeline view is pretty basic, but honestly, I, I like that. It makes it easy to grasp and I know that's going to be useful for those new to managing tasks through a timeline. I want to get into productivity for this review because here's where ClickUp is trying to offer a complete workspace for its users. There is a document creator, for example, and if you've ever used Google Docs or Microsoft Office, don't expect the same experience here. ClickUp's document creator is a space to jot down ideas or create news updates for your business. It does have formatting options like being able to add tables and change up fonts but it's light in comparison to big hitters in the productivity space. You can leave comments on documents and do real-time editing as well. There is the option to tag team members too and offer quick feedback. I like that you can also do threaded replies. It makes communication so much smoother and everybody knows what you're referring to. There's a cool clips feature. Let's say you're struggling to find common ground on a task and comments and messages aren't making anything any easier, you can send a clip, which is a video to help explain what needs to be done to move things forward. And it's great for asynchronous communication. So to just avoid a long meeting that can drag into 45 minutes, you can just send a five minute video. This is perfect for companies that have team members in different time zones, also where it's not always possible to jump on a call. The digital whiteboard ClickUp offers also comes in handy. It will no doubt appeal to creative types, but Honestly, anyone can use it. I've used it to create visually pleasing project roadmaps and the video team sometimes uses it for developing storyboards for content. It's very diverse with what it can do and you can also integrate it with the likes of Figma, Google Docs and YouTube. Now, customization. This is where you can put your own stamp and company processes into action. We've set up our whole video workflow right within ClickUp. It's not just a to-do list, it's our entire process. We've got spaces for ideas, unassigned topics, writing, revisions, the whole thing. It's actually pretty straightforward. And if you can add plenty of in-house content to your workflow, it's actually perfect. 
Our editorial team has fields for submission dates, a field to share articles. We've even got an invoice date field for Rosie, our HR manager. Hi, Rosie. It keeps everything flowing in one place. Our editor-in-chief, Alex, has set up lots of useful automations too. Whenever something moves forward in the process, the relevant person will receive a notification so they know it's their turn to take action. This is where integrating ClickUp in the likes of Slack and Zulip messaging system really comes in handy. Now, what if you just want to see your own stuff? That's where the me mode comes into play. You can look at just your tasks. And if you want to check what a specific team member is working on, you just need to click on assignees and select their name. It's really that simple. The last thing I want to talk about here is goals. ClickUp lets you set and track goals and they have all sorts of targets. You've got your numerical targets, monetary targets, true and false targets. You can even set task-based targets. The level of detail in ClickUp is impressive and you can set it up pretty much in any way that suits your business's needs. Let's say you are running a marketing campaign. You could set a numerical target like create six Instagram post this week or maybe you're in sales you could set a monetary target for your monthly revenue that each sales rep needs to needs to hit to keep track of your goals you can have folders for sprint cycles objectives and key results weekly employee scorecards and essential team goals and as you complete tasks ClickUp updates your progress in real time you can control who sees certain goals and set multiple owners for a goal for some good old fashioned teamwork, you know? All right, let's talk monies. The good news is ClickUp offers a pretty generous plan. You get 100 megabyte of storage, unlimited tasks and unlimited members. For small teams or personal use, this might be actually all you ever need. But moving up, we have the unlimited plan at $7 per member per month when billed annually. This gives you unlimited storage, nice, integrations, nice, and features like unlimited GAN charts and very important custom fields. You can really customize the cards that you're moving along in ClickUp. For larger teams, there's ClickUp's most popular plan, the business plan, and it costs $12 per member per month, billed annually. And this adds things like workload management, advanced automations, and also time tracking. And there's the Enterprise Plus plan with custom pricing. And this adds things like white labeling and advanced permissions. So if you're like an agency or you want to resell maybe some some of the features that that's probably an option there too all right okay we've talked a lot about ClickUp, and we need to wrap it up a little bit and give you like a little bit of a guidance if it's the right tool so what's my verdict what's our verdict here well They've packed a ton of productivity tools into one platform. It's like they took a bunch of apps and, and seamlessly blended them together. Now, it's not perfect, obviously. The navigation could use some work. I found myself clicking around a bit too much sometimes. It can overwhelm a lot of people, especially if you have a lot of projects that you need to keep track of. Some features are tucked away in menus and it can take a while to find what you really need. So. There's definitely room for improvement in usability and maybe trim down the feature set a little bit, but thinking a bit harder about usability. So do I recommend ClickUp? Absolutely. For my testing, it's right up there with the likes of Monday.com and Soho Projects, two of my other favorite project management tools. But hey, that's just my take. What about you? Have you tried ClickUp? Have you tried Monday? What do you love about it? Do you hate it? Somewhere in between? Well, drop a comment below and let us know your thoughts. And if you found this review helpful, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more software reviews and productivity tips. Until next time, see ya.